Imagine that you have eight people in your lab and you want to assign them to groups of two, such that only the two partners within a group interact with each other in a given period. Now, the question of how you assign these people to these groups and how the group compositions change between periods is what a matching scheme is all about. This chapter will tell you what matching schemes you can implement in Setri and how Setri helps you to do this easily and conveniently. Now, why do we need matching schemes? Well, matching matters when you have repeated play. So when the same participants uh, play the same experiment multiple times, and this is something that happens rather often in, econ in economic experiments, because experimenters like to collect multiple observations from the same participants to increase their statistical power, or also they like to collect multiple um, observations when they model a situation where people interact with each other or with different partners repeatedly. So different matching schemes allow you to study different situations. Imagine that you've just moved to a new city because uh, of your job and you're looking to buy a house there. And in this situation, you will likely face a seller, a house seller, who you've not met before and who you also expect you will not meet again in the future because the next time you're gonna buy a new house, will likely be when you've moved to a new city for a new job and you're unlikely to meet the same seller again in a different city. Now, this is a situation where you don't know your interaction partner and where your interaction partner does not have built any reputation with you. Conversely, imagine that you in the new city, you go to the hairdresser and um, ask for a haircut. Now, in this situation, the hairdresser might think that if he or she does a good job, you might return for another haircut in a few weeks time. And in this situation, there is an incentive for the uh, hairdresser to think about the reputation they can build by providing a good or even, of course, a bad service to you. Now, matching schemes allow you to model these different situations. If you want to model a one-shot situation, so a situation where you meet your, uh, opponent, uh, your opponent only once, you would have a matching scheme where subjects are matched with a new partner in each round. And this way, if a partner is very mean to you, that will not affect, you will not uh, be able to react to that in the next round. So the partner can be mean to you. And if the partner is very nice to you and that costs the partner something, um, that is um, a behavior that you will likely not see so often because there is no way of building reputation and because the partner cannot profit from being nice now in later rounds. On the other hand, if you play a repeated game with known interaction partners, the matching scheme would uh, be to match you up with the same participant, the same opponent um, participant repeatedly. And this way, um, your behavior in prior rounds or your partner's behavior in prior, prior rounds will affect the behavior that the opponent um, exhibits in later rounds. Matching schemes are what allow you to model the difference in between these two situations. Matching in Setri is accomplished via group membership in the sense that there is a variable called group with a capital G, just as it's spelled here, in the subjects table that is already predefined for you by Setri. Now, at the beginning, every subject's group is set to be one, which kind of means that everybody is in the first group, so everybody's in the same group. But you can change the group variable in two ways, essentially, and uh, assign the, same, the people that should go into the same group, the same group number. One way to do this is in the specific parameters in the parameter table, and I'm gonna show you on the next slide what this means. Or you can, of course, always just use a program to modify the group variable directly in the subjects table. I've opened a new instance of Setri here and a new treatment, and now I want to show you how to assign group membership using the parameter table. Before that, I do that, I need to make some settings in the background. Let's say I have eight people in my experiment, eight subjects in my experiment and I want to assign them to four different groups so that two people are for one group. And um, I want to have say eight paying periods, so eight regular experimental periods. Okay, once I've set that, I click on treatment parameter table. 
and that opens well, the parameter table. Now, what does this table show? It shows, as you can see in the columns, the eight subjects, so subjects one through eight. And in the rows, it shows the eight periods, periods one through eight. And I'll come back to the parameter table and some of the details of what you can do here later on. But the one thing I want to focus on now is this little number here in the top left corner of all these different cells. This signifies the group number of subject of this subject in this period. So if I double click this cell, I can also see that. I can see that subject one in period one is assigned to group number one. And I can actually change that and say, no, I want this subject to go into group two. And I can do the same for the second subject and say this subject also goes into group two. But this, of course, is a bit tedious. If you want to make all of these uh, settings here, that takes quite a while. So why not let Setri help you? To do that, I select the eight subjects and say the first seven periods. Now I click Treatment Matching and then Setri offers, offers me multiple matching options and the, which one I choose depends on my experiment. So let's see, say partner matching. What is partner matching? What just happened? As you can see in the cells that I selected, the numbers have changed. Now the first two subjects are in group one, the next two subjects are in group two, the next in group three and the next in group four. So Setri has formed four groups from, for me and assigned two people into each group. And as you can see, the group uh, composition stays the same throughout all the periods that I selected. So from period one through seven, subjects one and two are always in the same group, three and four are together, five and six and seven and eight. This is a partner matching, which means that over time, the same partners, the same people stay in a group together. This is good for experiments where you want to study, for example, reputation effects, because here, of course, um, subjects one and two learn or see what what the other is doing in the first period and can build on that in the second period. Now another matching would be the stranger matching. The stranger matching is a bit harder to interpret or to find out just by visually inspecting it. This what Zetri is doing here, but you can see that again there are always two people in a group. Subject two and subject four are in the first group subject one and subject five are in the second group and so on. But from period to period, the group compositions change. And uh, you may notice that I would have to look through it, but in some cases, the same people that were in a group in a previous period can get together in the same period, uh, in, in the same group again in a later period. And the reason is that the stranger matching is simply a random group assignment. So each period, these subjects are assigned to their groups randomly, and that means they can meet the same people again. Now, the final matching I want to show you today is the perfect stranger matching. When you click perfect stranger matching, Setri warns you that calculating this matching takes a bit of time or could take a bit of time. Now, let's say yes, I have a fast computer. Well, it doesn't take very long, as you see. What has happened now? Setri assigned the first two subjects in the first group next to, next to, next to, like in the first in the partner matching. But in the next period, you see that subject one is together with subject three, two with four, um, five with seven, and four with eight, uh, sorry, six with eight. In the next period, one is together with four, and so on. And what has happened now is that Setri has assigned the group such that a subject never meets the same partner in, an, in a, in a follow-up period. So you always meet the same person only once in the entire experiment, which means you can completely rule out uh, reputation effects. Now, of course, I deliberately selected only the first seven periods, because if I were to select all eight periods and try to run a perfect stranger matching and say, yes, calculate, Setri would tell me it's not possible. Yeah, you cannot match these people over eight periods such that they, they, that they never meet the same people again. But this is how you can very easily um, implement the matching scheme in Setri using the parameter table. And the settings you make here with regard to the group number that Setri made for you 
will be implemented in the subjects table when you run your program. Now is the time to talk in some more detail about the period structure, meaning what exactly SETRI does at what point in time when you run your treatment. So when a period starts, SETRI starts by setting the standard variables, so like period variable and the subject numbers and the group number, okay? The next thing that happens is that SETRI applies the parameter table group assignment. So exactly what we just looked at. This is the second thing that SETRI does. Then it runs the programs in the background. And that means that having a program in the background, you can actually modify the parameter table group assignment, meaning you can overwrite what group SETRI assigned through the parameter table by just having a program in the background in the subjects table that makes its own group assignment. The next thing Septry does, uh, and I'm gonna go through this quickly because I wanna discuss it on the next slide, is it makes the specific parameter table, it runs the specific parameter table programs, the role parameter programs, and the period parameter, parameter programs. As I said, let's come back to this on the next slide. Then it runs the programs at the beginning of any given stage that it reaches. And finally, it runs programs in buttons only when they are clicked by uh, a subject. And the last thing I have on this slide are delayed subprograms, which are triggered by the later do or the later repeat command. And of course, run whenever uh, the programmer, well, whatever the program puts in here, the number of seconds after the command is encountered determines when these uh, commands run. Now we're back in the parameter table and I first want to show you the specific parameters. The specific parameters are the parameters that are set when you double click one of these um, cells. You can specify a program here. You can say k equals 1 for example and that would set the variable k equal to 1 in the subjects table of the first subject in the first period. Okay. The second thing are the role parameters. So if I double click S3 here, I can specify another program saying k equals 3, for example. And this would set k equal to 3 in the subjects table of the uh, subject number 3 in all periods. So this overrides all the periods. And finally, if you double click one of these period numbers, you can specify period parameters. You can say k equals 17, and this would set k equal to 17 for all subjects in period six. And remember, specific parameters come first, role parameters come second, and period parameters come third, such that this command would override all of the others in this period six. Now, one more thing I want to show you in this specific dialog is the prompt. You can write something into this field here, like um, please press a key. And if there is something in this field, then at the beginning of period six, the experimenter on the set tree, uh, in the set tree client, sees a little dialog window saying, please press a key. And the experiment will only continue when the experimenter has clicked this key. So this is a convenient way to pause the experiment for a bit, for example, to give further instructions or for some other reasons. And the interesting thing is when Setri is running, you can actually open the parameter table while it is running. And for example, double click the next period here, enter a prompt, and that allows you to, during the experiment, decide on, well, to, to have a short pause in the experiment, for example, if there is some trouble, if somebody needs to go to the toilet and or, or something and you want to pause the experiment for a reason. Now, of course, this is not ideal. You don't want your experiment. This might influence your experimental outcomes, but it is an option if you deem it necessary. So just to recap, specific parameters are if you click into the cell. Role parameters can be set if you double click the subject name or number and period parameters can be set if you double click the period number.
Now the second option to assign groups to subjects besides the parameter table is simply to use a subject table program. And when doing so, the modular function, which can be called by mod and then giving two arguments, is a very helpful tool in C3. The modular function returns the remainder of a division of x by y. So if you divide x by y, mod of well, mod xy gives you the remainder of this division. And this can be used very well, for example, in this example, you have a, a sorting variable. This could simply be, for example, the subject number. And then if you use this equation here, you say group equals modulo sort var minus one comma three plus one. What you get is a group assignment like this, where the first three people, well, the, the, um, the first person is in a group with the fourth person, the second with the fifth, and the third with the, th with the sixth. And that means you now have three groups of two people each. And of course, you can modify this any way you want for your own uh, matching. And matching by subjects table program, of course, gives you more options or sometimes can be easier to implement than using the parameter table, particularly if the matching depends on choices that subjects make in the experiment. Because if that is the case, you cannot, during the experiment, modify the parameter table. But of course, you can write a program that takes subjects' choices in, a, in an earlier period and translates them into a matching in later periods by simply assigning them group numbers such that they're in the group with those people that you want them to be in with. 